warmer than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country, I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy hadn't beat me senseless. <laughs> what are you talking about? Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Ah! On island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Phones. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you? Are you, are you three years old? Laszlo's a liar. Laszlo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo-boo, stick your head in doo-doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware of the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. I mean... Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me, Barry the Thumb. String puppets, glove puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City. This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, 
Jones and one size fits all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the Internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. W- what about them? Close. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Close, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. Wait, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's <laughs> weird. But why don't you like close? I just hate them. They're talking about Britain. I mean, there's a lion wear clothes, and the lion is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess the lion has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's, as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can. But I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. I had to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech and free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, but look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We have won members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? Of hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest-growing U.S.-run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get... ...casting every time you tune in. Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for Spank. It reaches far beyond the yardies selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling Spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash ah. them to splinters. Ah. No more dead teachers, no more angry students. Well, but you don't think... No, I don't, never. Now listen to me, it makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot, but you know what? It costs me even more. I can shoes, books, toys, even special tiny furniture, pets, that sort of crap. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. Well, not mine, Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. Three, we taught them how to clean the bathroom. If you left so much as one hair on the stove, it was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch in bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days, he's getting too big to be chimneys, so now he's a paralegal raking and pollen. He's 
seven and he's making mad to do 23,000 a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, read, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photocopies all night. Hell, he'd go to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. So now, I'm buying me a fast boat trailer. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation? Man, you believe in her? Kill me! Johnny's mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploitation. Sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the weight lines of toilet paper. And their space station was made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, we're the poor living in the American way. That, and the only thing more American is having folks work for you. That sounds a little oppressive and even despotic. Exactly, Laszlo. You hit the nail on the head that time. My kid, I'm telling you, just shut the schools down, make the kids work. That... Kid. So of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice. So we bought the new Maibatsu Monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying... bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered? to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my colon irrigated. I just wanted to say something about the internet, you know, the information superhighway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's Incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how could it be so dumb? It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, the clothes that you want to buy in your CD, what do you do, Leslie? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know, Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy a CD online, and then I rip the music into a different format so I can listen to it while I'm jogging. It's incredible. I also like cabs and cooking and reality, so the internet is really good for my hockey. I think it's amazing. I used to go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy those kids with their stock options or their fast cars. They earn them. The internet has saved my life. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well... Line 79, hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Um, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio for a second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but... Uh... Name. What did you call about? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mama Mia. Only different, you know. But you know, man. No, 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 no. Boys nights. Whoa, whoa! whoa. Uh, what are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs protect you. I bet. I know what you're all like. You know more about men than I know about. Then it all went wrong, and so, you know, I found someone else, and he seems real nice, but, you know, he don't talk too much, so I really can't. Not with the guys. Um, say, 
What do you mean, like me? Well, what are you insinuating? Th that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, y you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. There's a rally... ...all night... So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons in the suits, no thanks, not in my town. Not while I have a breath in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. L let what pass? It's about grabbing the town by the balls and saying, listen, son, time to put up or shut up. No more... Mr. Nice Guy, no more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as brother marching. Only one thing on their mind. The chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you mean to him more than the chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and we'll even have a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Dude, even the elderly care about tomorrow. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping America. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Great show, man. <laughs> Thanks. What's uh, what, 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 what's up? Oh man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. <laughs> and exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay. Right now, I live at home, but pretty soon, like next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh, the big 4-0, and it's just it's time to go. Okay. Did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude. That B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, Laszlo. I, I appreciate that. That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Aris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Aris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the... Drive slower! From something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to petsovernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Laszlo. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian or watching football and eating junk food, you have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Laszlo. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> 
especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Ladlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through character. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Ladlo. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even frighten myself. <laughs> Do we tighten it some more now, or just wait for it to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Oh, hey, Pave! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep Asuka company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. There's a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil.
Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla lad, though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Laszlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all-you-can-eat breakfast...
Sí, bueno. ¿Pa' qué es idiot? One of these Scarface idiots. The real question is, did you turn up to rescue Maria or to get me back? Well, I got news for you. Shooting you will be a pleasure, but dating you was only business. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. Throw over the cash. You have been a busy boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Kill the idiot! the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand-pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, comfortable movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you instill fear in your opponent. Never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu. I want to learn about being a ninja. People's ass. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see. I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked organic vegetables. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half with my bare toes. In fact, Ladno, I could easily chop this desk in two
20 for mission 5. Mission 5. Mission 20 is mission 20. Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark-haired woman. Uh, you know, 
we're gonna have such fun, cause you know, you know I love you, I, I, I really do, cause you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I need. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged between ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Yeah, we got a good view from down here in the gardens. When the copter finally got taken out, better than the fireworks on the 4th of July. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. There have been no official denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. Can you believe it? This one cost me $50. <laughs>